Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is interest rate swaps very important for PNBS so credit officer exam in the previous years is mr. questions I think right so that's why we are going to do uh, do this topic today so my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts okay so PNBSO credit officer 2024 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series and the live sessions link is available in the description please check okay so students what are interest rate swaps so ye samajhne se pehle, let me tell you one thing interest rate can be fixed or it can be floating okay fixed interest rate let's say on uh, on your loan agreement or let's say your auto loan agreement it is mentioned that the interest rate is eight percent it will remain eight percent throughout uh, the duration of your auto loan or even nowadays mobile ka loan right eight percent interest hai to eight percent interest hai. no matter what interest rates kahan ja rahe hai, aapka stable hai kyunki short term loans mein generally hota hai let's say you have taken a home loan if somebody uh, has taken a home loan, loan, he would understand that the home loan interest rate goes up and down because that is floating rate. It is based upon, generally it is based upon the bank's uh, repo rate uh, or bank rate. Kuch basis, kis, ek base ke upar banta hai, right? So let's say the interest rate is going to go up and it's going to go down over the period of time. It has massive impact on the on the home loan EMI right because generally it's a big ticket loan and generally it's a very long period loan it's a 25 30 years loan generally right <clears throat> so what is an interest rate swap I hope you understood fixed interest rate and the floating interest rate loans right now what are interest rate swaps let's say students you got a loan on fixed interest rate right but you want to take advantage of floating interest rate right and some another company <clears throat> they got they got floating interest rate and they want to take advantage of fixed interest rate because they don't want to take risk of uh, uh, in interest rate they don't want to take interest rate risk okay so what in the simplest form simple form simplest form you are person a the person b got the floating rate of interest you got the fixed rate of interest you got a 10 lakh rupee loan at 8 percent he got the 10 lakh rupee loan at floating rate of interest so what do you people are going to do they are going to do exchange of exchange of funds right so it is a regular stream regular uh, you know it's not just one contract right so her mahine ki emi hai on every month you people are going to exchange the the stream of uh, cash flows okay so let's understand it's a derivative contract in which two counterparties agree to exchange one stream of future interest payment for another one stream fixed another stream floating okay so based on a specific principal amount okay so in most cases interest rate swaps include exchange of fixed interest rate for floating interest rate that is very common that that's what happened in most cases right so generally what happens is uh, a clearing house is in involved you do not directly company a do not directly go to company b right company a got a uh, uh, got, got a loan at a floating rate of interest from bank a and then they have a agreement with bank b so they have a bank b in between bank b is there in between okay so what happens what happens is one company the company a what they are doing is they are they want to take a fixed interest rate loan they do not want to take floating interest rate loan but in ke pass have floating rate of interest right so they are exchanging the cash flows future cash flows right so that's what they are doing they are exchanging the future cash flows the person the company who has taken fixed interest rate loan that is converted to floating interest rate loan and the company who got the floating interest rate loan it is converted to fixed uh, 
rate of interest loan obviously the banks are there in between uh, you directly do not go to the the counter party banks or the third party is involved because generally what happens is you got a 10 lakh rupee loan right and maybe there are two counter parties who are taken 5 lakh somebody has taken 3 lakh rupee somebody has taken 2 lakh rupee so what uh, these banks are doing they are doing a clearing house kind of a role right Ek toh, uh, they are uh, market makers the banks now they are market makers plus they they help in avoiding credit uh, default risk okay so that's a very good example i have got uh, pepsico is there pepsico needs to raise, raise 75 million dollars right in usa they can raise it at the rate of 3.5 percent in another country they can do it at 3.2 percent but in another country there is currency fluctuation risk currency can go up or go down that pepsico do not want to take that risk so what pepsico is going to do pepsico is going to find a third party pepsico is going to find a third party so let's say it's a one year loan it's a one year or five year whatever uh, year loan is the pepsico is going to do the exchange of cash flows with the third party okay so that is a good example of interest rate swaps so what are the risks involved in interest rate swaps counterparty risk so counterparty if counterparty you know uh, now they are not interested in uh, you know in doing the contract right Wo, what happens is the counterparty the company a and company b is there the company b is defaulting they say okay go i mean we are not going to oblige our uh, promise right what you can do go to the law the courts and all so a and b they are the counterparties agar wo default karte hai, what you can do at the end of the day so the counterparty risk is there many times currency risk is there right uh, that is also there okay currency risk is there if the two counterparties are there in in two different countries currency rate fluctuates a lot that risk is also there important terms that you should know right credit risk in the previous papers a lot of questions were asked from the uh, these terms so please remember that the risk of loss of principal credit risk a company a and company b is there company b defaults okay so it's a loss uh, it's a risk of loss of principal or loss of financial reward uh, stemming from borrower's failure to pay that is credit risk central counterparty if certain certain banks or financial institution is involved if that part counterparty defaults now that's a problem counter party risk the risk of each party of a contract that counterparty not live up to its uh, contractual obligation that risk is there fixed rate bonds a bond that pays same amount of interest in its entire term that is fixed floating uh, in which the interest rate fluctuates according to some benchmark okay fixed rate payments interest rate that remains same for the entire term of the security that are fixed rate payments fixed rate payment and fixed rate bond that can be different interest rate risk the risk interest rates can go up and down over the period of time can it can go up and it can go down the value of bonds is certainly dependent upon the market interest rate okay so if there is a long term bond long term bond let's say there is an eight percent long term bond okay in india long term bond 20 year bond is there now what happens is rbi came tomorrow tomorrow and says the interest rate is seven percent what will happen to this eight percent bond it will get additional one percent for next 20 years so its value obviously but its value is going to go up okay but if rbi comes up and says uh interest rate now is nine percent while this one gives one percent less to wo kya hoga? the value of these bonds would go down so interest rate risk is always there over the counter a security traded in uh, not in formal exchanges like nsc bsc uh, uh, the national stock exchange the new york stock exchange 
किसी प्रोमिनेंट स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में डील ना नहीं होता है दैट इज ओ टी सी ओवर द काउंटर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वट इज वॉप स्प्रेड दैट्स रियली इंटरेस्टिंग राइट सो इफ अ बैंक इज इन्वॉल्व एंड द फिक्सड रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू टी बिल्स इज लेट्स इन इंडिया इट्स सिक्स परसेंट लेट्स से इट्स सिक्स परसेंट बट यू आर पेइंग सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट टू द बैंक राइट बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली द बैंक द काउंट द सेंट्रल काउंटर पार्टी दे नीड टू चार्ज सम मनी फॉर मेकिंग द मार्केट फॉर मेकिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर डूइंग द क्लियरिंग हाउस सर्विस फॉर यू to help you avoid the default risk kitni sari service aapko de rahe and they are going to charge some money for that that is swap spread that is what the fixed rate uh, payer of uh, interest rate swap uh, pays over the sovereign bond uh, uh, ka jo rate of interest hai usse upar jo pay karta hai that is swap spread okay we are going to do some questions the type of swaps in which the fixed payments of interest rates are exchanged by two counter parties for floating payments of interest are known as interest rate swaps okay in interest rate swap transaction the party who pays the floating payments of interest rate is known as swap seller okay and the amount of money involved in a swap transaction is known as notional notion principle okay swaps are used to protect against which kind of risk and uh, swaps are used to protect which kind of risk let me know so swaps are used to protect against interest rate risk but it do not automatically protects two parties from default risk so two parties can default at the end of the day default ho sakta hai right what is the main purpose of interest rate swap exchange one stream of future interest payments for another stream specifically uh, fixed interest rate with floating interest rate okay which of the following is a benefit of interest rate swaps for borrowers so what is the benefit it can reduce or increase their exposure to interest rate fluctuation it reduces of uh, the the interest rate risk for the person who has taken the fixed interest rate loans jisne uh, fixed jiske paas uh, fixed ho jata hai uska kam ho jata hai fluctuation jisne le liya contract ke baad uska jo hai risk badh jayega right so it it can reduce or increase the exposure ek bande ka kam ho jata hai uh, jo fluctuation dusre ka badh jata hai it can lower the borrowing cost by doing uh, this agreement it can lower it can increase their investment return it it is an hedge against interest rate risk right or they do not need to do speculation on future interest rate movement because other parties third parties are there to take up this risk so all of above is a correct answer so students i hope you like the today's short session and if you need the full course you can go to bank exam today in which we are providing the complete syllabus coverage with the help of video classes notes quizzes live sessions and we are also providing interview preparation guidance right so link to our course is available in the description list of our successful students who took our courses in the past all these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them right so you can be one of them in the future a uh, link to join the courses is available in the description and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye